All right, I am going to play a beautiful and haunting old-time tune for you called Hog-Eyed Man. As you may know, one of the main missions of this fingerstyle banjo channel is to demonstrate the wide variety of sounds that you can make with fingerstyle banjo, um, or to show you that there is a great big gigantic world of banjo so sounds outside of the realm of bluegrass banjo. Nothing wrong with bluegrass banjo, but there's way more than that. And with this particular tune, we're going to be killing three myths uh, with one stone that you may have heard about fingerstyle banjo. One is that you have to wear finger picks to play fingerstyle. Um, that's generally true, mainly of bluegrass style banjo, um, but there are many tunes that sound better with bare fingers or without finger picks, this tune being one of them. Um, so you'll note here that I'm using my bare fingers. The second is that uh, the banjo is an instrument that is played fast. And again, that may be true of some bluegrass breakdowns, but again, that's just a small sliver uh, in the world of banjo music. And there are loads of great uh, tunes that sound great played at a slow, or medium tempo, and especially when you're first learning, those are the tunes you should really be focusing on uh, so you're not tempted to go faster than you should. And the third myth is that you need a resonator banjo to play finger style. As you can see, I am playing an open back, and unless you're after that sharp, biting sound of bluegrass banjo, you know, with finger picks played by the bridge, um, there's really no real reason for the extra bulk uh, and weight and expense of a resonator. Um, this particular banjo uh, weighs about four pounds, uh, but it puts out plenty of sound. And compare that with a traditional bluegrass banjo that has a resonator and a steel tone ring, uh, which weighs um, three times as much. And that is definitely a difference you can feel. So no finger picks, uh, slow, easy tempo, and open back banjo. So here it is, Hog-Eyed Man. <laughs> 